<laughs> Shield bombs, what the hell? Ten Vagine? The hell are you talking about? I'm so confused there, Curdy Boy. I'm confused. I think this is a keeper. The Arbor. Bowmasters. Evolution. Yawgmoth. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna. Weird Wood. 90. You guys start talking about bobs and boobs and. Then we get Weird Wood, who's down to five cards. What are we going to do with this? You don't like this hand. You would you would mold it? It's it's slow. It's for sure slow. Plays Misty. Doesn't do anything. Hmm. <laughs> That's not good. That, you know? Like I said earlier, I hate gravid lands. <laughs> lands? Top deck and more lands is fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't want any more lands. Trial. So what? We could be playing. Uh, uh, what's the? There's the two. The elemental guy. The the four four elemental that does the shit when the lands come in. Why can I not think of his name? Omnath. So we could be playing Omnath. We could be playing. Uh, creativity, which I haven't seen creativity at all. Like, in the last, like, month or so, I haven't seen creativity whatsoever. I don't know about you guys. Her this ain't that kind of stream. Alright? I ain't playing no Pokemon. I do love me some Pokemon. And Charizard is better than Pikachu. Don't even at me. Okay? Charizard is way better. I mean, we could even be playing Rhinos with the trial. Rhinos could be there. If I had to make a guess, if I was Batman, we're playing Rhinos. Which I don't know how well Yawgmoth deals with Rhinos. It's okay, Kurt. It's okay. We'll we'll forgive you this once. Just this once, though. Just because you gave uh, Topher a uh, tier one sub. It's Rhinos. He just did the... He just played Steam Vents. He's got a, whatchamacallit, a... The three drop. I don't know why, whenever I get on stream, I can never remember the names of the cars. I know exactly what they do. Bowmasters. I guess Chalice is going to be pretty good in this matchup. He does draw with Fire and Ice, so I guess that's something for Bowmasters. <laughs> well, you had a 1 in 12 chance. <laughs> Kurt, you had a 1 in 12 chance, and it just happened to be Topher. I don't know what to do here, but I mean, we're definitely not swinging. I don't think you play the evolution. Because then if they have a counter spell, it kills both. Is it worth it to play the Dryad here and try to get a Dryad on the field? Or do I just play a Verdant Catacombs and say pass? I'm leaning towards Vernet and passing. I've been affiliate since... May? April? I want to say I haven't streamed that much, though. So. Yeah. So, 
I've been meaning to stream more. I really, I play a lot of MTGO, and I, I really need to stream my MTGO. Like, all eight of my, you know, leagues should have been on live. But, I'm just, I sometimes just don't stream, but I, but I need to be. I'm going to start doing better. tofer has been yelling at me. He paid for Steam Vents and didn't activate anything on the end step. What? That's con That's confusing, chat. That was odd. Maybe he was hoping I would play a, a spell so he could counter it? Just like a hard counter with um, force? Four color scape shift? That could be scape shift. It's not a bad guess. It could be. That's so weird to pay for this when I've got bowmasters and stuff on the field. Definitely play the forest. I think I just play the Yagma. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're hundred percent right on that it's rhinos and he wanted to like try to double me up. Now the question is here. It's rhinos. It's after seeing Mystical Dispute main board. It's rhinos. Dispute main board. That I've seen it happen, but that kind of interesting. I'm gonna laugh when he does Lorien revealed. Here, draw three. He paid for stomping. Oh, oh, fuck. Here comes what you would call it. Damn it. Here comes his fury. Fire. Oh. Okay. Four. One, two, three. So I can do three with cord. Oh, I might be able to get some cod in tomorrow, pretty boy. Get some cod in, get some ranked in. Like, do a grist at instant speed, like, end of his turn, you thinking? Are you thinking, like, end of his turn, throw it out there? Thinking that. I think you're right. I think instant speed... Wrist. Maybe should have attacked with the token there. But he paid for this. So weird. He's gotta be holding up another counter spell. Oops. I forgot to reset MTGO. I'll have to do it after this game because, man, sometimes it just gets slow. It 
when you run it too long, at least on my computer. I don't know why. Yeah, there's the force of negation. Okay. Okay, sir. Be that way. Um, two, so we could still have, like, ice and fire. I think the play here is you play the goose, swing with the army, and then main phase two will evolution on the goose to get a grist. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I guess maybe I should have attacked with the army token before? Green. Yeah, on that last turn, I probably should have attacked. I just didn't want to run into a rhino. Do you have another force of negation with a blue card? You do. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I will not go get uh, my grist. Hell of a, that's a lot of counter spells. One, two, three, four. He had four because he exiled a force of negation too. Jeez. Do not draw the one call. The instant speed autumn. Autograph autumn. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's not legendary, so I would not be able to channel unless there's a land on top. I think we do it anyways. Young Wolf. We have to attack and just assume he did not draw. I assume he didn't draw. Okay, he didn't draw. Now the next question is, is end step. We probably sack the peatland. Get the young wolf. Draw another card, beginning of turn. Why would you go down to two life? Why would you dig there and pay for the dig? I understand putting the dig lane on the field. I probably would have kept it in hand. But what point would you need six mana with one card? So you just lose? Oh, well, he could... No, he would, even with Fury, he would lose. Because with Fury, he could kill two of the three. He killed that and that, but he loses it to that. He killed that and that, but he loses it to that. Yeah, he was dead. Yeah. War and Revealed was not good enough. Right, so we want this. We want the Silex. I want the Necromantia. Those are really good. Ooh, a lot of them do play whatchamacallit. Um, the Dragon, Merktide. So the Double Endurance is fine. Force of Vigor, they're not going to bring anything crazy in for, for that. Chorus, ugh, maybe. Um, the Habatra is really good in this matchup. I think the evolution's got to go because it's just too much. If they can counter stuff for free and I sack a creature, that's just too much for me to lose. The Wall of Roots can block the Rhinos, so I think Wall of Roots has got to stay. Augur of Autumn, I think that's one of the cards that's got to go. It's just, it's too combo-y if he hits too many of his Rhinos. 
the I think the biggest question is is do we want pushes and pylons? But if we're we're pushing and piling on, we're losing the game. Like we're just giving up too many cards. Like that's that's a two for one. Yeah, it'll it'll kill some rhinos, but I just don't think it's worth it to bring those back. So I'm gonna go down a string route, go to two like normal. Not be overloaded on endurance. I think that's just how we play rhinos. It just kind of say I'm gonna combo off better than you can. And the hand you didn't like, it's they got there. Just because they had an absolutely terrible hand. Oh, she's moved a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna mulligan. Mul mulligan. We're gonna mulligan that. This is not that much better. I'm going to keep this one. You're going to say I'm crazy, but I'm going to keep it. I think you got to drop the Habatra. Yep. Please give us a land. We need a land on top. See, it already, like, updates here. They did do a foot falls. Okay. I don't think you could play the Dryad Arbor there. Just because he could do fire, ice, all sorts of stuff, and that just puts you massively behind. I think the only way we could get away with it there is hoping we draw another land. We gotta hope for another land. Well, he didn't have the red mana. Tomb. Could be worse. Not great. Definitely could have been worse. I'll take it. I'll take it. He didn't get the third land. Did not get to three. And we did. Okay. So here's where we play Wall of Roots. And then I think we play Bowmasters on his turn. So that when we can cord out a Yawgmouth? We're going to go with that chat. Ready, break. <laughs> right, because, yeah. Yeah, because we get one, two, three, four. Yeah, that wouldn't have been worth it. No two drop. Now, one more turn to deal with that footballs. No land again. All right, buddy. Oh, master. 
I don't think there's anything you can do to that. I've got 12 minutes? Jesus. Mr. Moth, it's a pleasure to see you. It is quite the pleasure. So the only thing I'd be worried about here is if he has a subtly. But I would just put it back on the top of my deck. But it would slow me down a turn. One, two, three. So I can't cord yet. So he does have the supply. Called the supply. Okay. Ah, bro. On that on top. Now we just swing away. There's nothing we can do. Man, this thing is being interesting. It's super slow. Alright, alright. You get your rhino tokens. What is with this? Come on, MTG. Oh. Okay, hold the front door. Close MTGO. Go on, I'm going to say intermission because I don't like people see my password. Leave my mic on, though. Not that you would be able to see my password. But you'd be able to see how many characters. I don't want them. Come on. Come on. Wait, what? It says I want to know. What the hell? The dude must have conceded? <laughs> I would just reset MTGO. Uh, I guess he conceded. Uh, I, has anybody ever seen that happen? <laughs> Is that a, that's a new one for me. I have never seen that before. Um, all right, one and zero. All right, the road to five and zero. I need to call that something though. I knew he had he had to have something. He had to have good cards in his hand. He just kept getting mana flow or uh, mana screwed by not getting that third land. So I'm assuming he had counters. He had to have some stuff. Thirteen viewers, guys. Oh man, I appreciate the love, y'all. I'm glad you're spending tonight with me, hanging out. I'm enjoying the shit out of this. So I hope you are too. And I have to throw that shitty hand away. I'm gonna throw that shit hand. If there was one green man in there, we'd be flying. And yet again, fuck, fuck, little bow masters. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it chill. We're gonna go crazy. Um, call me crazy. Call me crazy. Throwing Yog back. Jeez, Chase, terrible decision. What the hell? 
<laughs> if I can get one green man on my next draw, we'd be looking good. We get Wall of Roots into Halfling, and then we, we can start flying, but... Uh, all right, another triple. So elementals, four color. That with the swamp, so maybe five. Plains, island, swamp, island. I'm just so good at this game. I can't even draw Greenland. Draw a card, bro. Draw a card. Draw it. But you want to. What am I playing right now? I don't know this one. The double triome. Well, it, it, it's triome. Do I worry about... I think I go Young Wolf in case of... Uh... I should have gone Wall of Roots. I should have gone second Wall of Roots into Young Wolf. Wow. Wasn't thinking. Yeah, because if I go second Wall of Roots into Young Wolf, then I have both. I went Young Wolf in case they have a board wipe, so at least I'm not going to be completely out of a board. Really hoping they don't have Supreme Verdict here. It's got to be some sort of elementals or control or something. Okay, so if I attack with these three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, if I attack with those three, I could still get Yogmoth out onto the field. At the end of his turn. Depending. Well, the Wandering Emperor's four drop. Bowmasters? Baffling? Bowmasters. That's his only white source that's not tapped. The one ring's fine. That's why I wanted to get rid of Bowmasters, because of that. Hey, 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 hey. No. Don't have a spell beers thing. You. All right. Well, shit. Have you ever thought about populating a one ring if it gets late game and he's going to take damage? Like doing the what is it proliferate? Not not yeah, proliferate. It'd be an interesting little line to get there. Okay. Come on now. You got seven cards under there, bro. You know you want to take Yawgmoth with your second binding. You know you do. Uh, 
Play the wall of... No, we're going to wait. We're going to swing. Here. I'm assuming he's going to... Bring it solitude? Binding. On the up. Yeah, that's fine. Now do you bring in solitude? Block my army, exile my wolf. Yep. 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 And then you're going to block the token. You're going to gain three. I'm going to lose my token. Well played there. But don't worry. We're going to get you back. We'll get you back in main. Uncounterable. And then we'll sack a wall. That's pretty good. We're going to hope he doesn't have another binding. Now I just don't have any undying creatures to keep stuff on the field. Interesting. This is interesting. Oh, somebody clipped something. Somebody, somebody clipped something on there. On my yard. I think I'm going to give him a negative counter and sack the wall of roots. Let's give the Wall of Roots a counter and sack the tip snake token. Let's do it again. Grist is pretty good against him. Now, here's where we have a decision. For... He's going to go do something. Does he play another ring? Good card, too. Good. That's good. So, we have access to five... One, two, three. So Yogmoth takes up the full turn. Strangle Root. 
We can't strangle root and grist. But I feel like grist is a great option right now. I think we gotta play grist. I wanna play grist. CB's got a counter. This is an interesting one to sideboard for. Th these games can go on for a minute. What could he flash in? I don't think they play Bowmasters. They could. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. I can bring in a two drop if I don't swing. I can bring in a one drop if I do swing. I just think I swing here with Habatra at. What's the Habatra? I think I just swing in the, the snake token at, at his Teferi. Just trying to play it safe here in case he's got something crazy. I just don't know what that could be. That's a, that's a tough choice. Because I can do one, two, three, four, five. I can go get a two drop. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe end of his turn I go get Blood Artist. I'm gonna do it. Go get the Blood Artist. He doesn't have anything hasty. Or do I go get the... Bowmaster would be really good, too. Never mind. Not going to let me do anything there. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, POS. This bastard not letting me do my chords. I want to cord your ass. Yeah, Bowmaster would have been really good. That would have prevented him from doing the Teferi, the ring. He's got four on that ring. Nothing to scoff at yet. Because if we... One, two, three, four. He'd be down to one... Yeah, he'd be down to one. That's that changes some things. I think we definitely get a token. Access to one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we definitely go like this. Play the Bowmasters. Pop is to Fairy. Yeah, we do this. We're, this is what we're going to go with, chat. This is what we're going to go with. I don't know if it's the line, but it's a good line. Because then if he can't deal with Grist... Okay. Well, I guess each opponent... Does Grist's ultimate go around protection? 
I guess is the question we need to know. Because they just lose life. It's not dealing damage, they just lose it. Does anybody know in chat? Does anybody know if Briss Ultimate would get around another played ring? Hmm. Google that. I don't know. I really don't know if this works or not. Because he's got protection, but he just loses life. Does hmm. <laughs> Each opponent loses life. It's not dealing damage. It's the winner lose. I'm going to do it. I need to find out. It works. It works. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. 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 Uh, course is pretty good on this one. Um, Haywire Mice pretty decent. Endurance? No, not that good. I think Necromentia is probably pretty good. Yeah, Necromentia. We're Strangle Rude. Can't afford to have that be countered. You want me to put in one Necromentia? Grace is really good. Bowmasters is too good. Wall of Roots is. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of the Gilded Goose. Yeah, that, that was interesting. That was an interesting interaction chat. Wrist ultimate because it's a lose life ability. That was, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. 
Man! Man, that, that pumped me up right there. I'll keep that. We can keep that, chat. We can keep that. But that would have me sweating, chat. I thought I was going to... I mean, that that's a win or lose a match type of type of uh, move there. Fine, get rid of my halfling. Be that way. Alright, alright. Play another one. There's no way you can counter a one drop? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Goldie. This guy went up in cards. He's got 60 cards in his deck right now. The hell? This guy went with a full 67 cards. I didn't notice in the first game. I wonder if he was over on his first game, too. A1. I think we just wait. What does that do? The I card grist. Should I have some sort of bot that like pulls open grist? Do I just pull it up here? Where do I get that bot? It worked. It worked. It, it got the jump to through rings protection. Gris ultimate wins you the game. So it's something something to know. First we'll play that. We'll play this. I'm still learning this streaming thing. I'm pretty fresh. I know how to play Magic. I've played Magic since 2010. So I've been playing Magic since 2010. Competition-wise, probably 2012. Been playing in competition state. RCQs back when they had those and all that shit. We did all that stuff. So much fun. Oh, man. That kind of hurts. Don't think I go get a one drop? Yeah, no, I don't go get a wolf. Give me a. Uh, <laughs> this game's not looking good, chat. It's not looking good. I'll have to Google that tomorrow. I'll try to add that bot in tomorrow. I'll Google it and see where I can add that bot because that's a good call needing to have uh, a bot whenever somebody searches Grist. Uh, they could pop it up or, or whatever card they want to look up. One ring, and they've already got rid of my haywire mite. That's not the best. 
But we do have the Bowmaster. Bowmaster, if we get a black lamb. That's not a black lamb. Shit. I think this game, I think he's got me this game. Just with that, but I mean, I need to see him beat me, but it's not looking great. Not too hot, not too hot. I kept a greedy hand. It was all my fault. Show me solitude. Yeah, you got it. I just don't think there's coming back from that. Two turns away. He's got the ring. He's got me beat. Collector Ufe is interesting. But then I can't play my Haywire. I like this hand. Burden into a turn two wall of roots, probably. Yeah, you probably go wall of roots. For sure. Wall of Roots and the Young Wolf. Let's go. And then depending... Probably try to get Grist out there next. He can counter with Dovin's Veto, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six would get us a three drop. That would just get us another grist. I think we just play Strangle Root. If he wants to counter Strangle Root, that's fine. I guess we could have played Pendlehaven there um, and given it to the Young Wolf just to get an extra damage in. Binding on the Geist. That's fine. Yeah, dude, he totally kept 67 cards in his in, from his sideboard. I, I wish I would have seen that in game one if he would have if he did that or not. Brain revealed. You pay for the foul. You do not pay for the foul. Okay, well, you can't spell Pierce my Grist, so Grist is coming out. I don't think there's anything he can do with Grist. Black. I guess Scalding could do it, actually, because he's a 1-1, one -one, technically. Is that going for Grist? I'm not going to swing. Because we can... Cord. One, two, three, four, five. Cord into a two drop. Mm hmm. Recording into a two drop's not that great. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd get rid of the insect token. That's fine. We don't want Teff out there. We're going to swing with the wolf. Get rid of Teff. No? Solitude? Nope, no solitude. Play the Wall of Roots because it's the same amount of mana and everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's right. And I don't want him to have mana up. So we can so we can counter this. You got a force of negation in there, you bastard. You got force of negation? Don't tell me you got a force of negation. You don't have no force. You got solitude though. Get rid of that blood artist? Yeah. You bitch. But it doesn't get one hit. Yog. Okay. You know, one of my Force of Vigors that I put in would be mighty fine right now. Yeah, that would be like the perfect top deck would be Force of Vigor. Alright, one blue, you're going to do Lorian Revealed? Yep, okay. Force of Vigor, I think, would win me the game. As long as I can get it off. Mercantile. Okay, okay. Mr. Boseju, I like me some Boseju. We're gonna get rid of this guy. Get me some greased. Oh, I love me some greased. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Mr. Merkaid. Add a counter. Put a negative one in there. Sack it. We got halfling. And then we're going to put a negative one counter on him. Sack the wolf. Guard. Hope he doesn't have Supreme Verdict. I think that's just kind of what we're hoping for. Do that. Take the counter on him. Dump the half lane. Ah, oh, damn, we have that many. <laughs> okay. We got we got a bowmasters coming up next. Got the gilded goose, which the gilded goose gives us the ability with auger to do our thing.
don't have a ring. Please don't have a ring. Even though I have a Bowmasters coming up, I don't want to see a ring. Come on, Toto. Don't show me the ring. Don't show me that ring. I know you probably have it. You have the supreme verdict, you dick. Sack the auger in response. No, 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 no. Sacrifice another creature. Oh, you don't have to put a counter on something. That's cool. I thought it was a must ability. It's good to know. Now, Grist. If we get Grist up to five, he's going to hit hard. Sometimes the deck just loves me. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to hope for a good top deck. I'll sacrifice another creature. Alright, we'll let that happen. The Gilded Goose is going to come out. We got some shit to do next turn. Could really use a Force of Vigor. Could really use a Force of Vigor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana next turn. Well, the Wall of Roots, so that kind of changes up some calculations for sure. There's your one ring. But we know Gris gets around that. That's helpful. What did we hit? Half lane. Definitely going to play the Wall Roots first. Counter on there. We're going to play the Bowmasters. Just shoot the... the goose. Play that. Hope he doesn't have a second Supreme Verdict. I don't know how many Supreme Verdicts they normally play. I thought it was only one. But we're going all out. We need to we need to get this game won. Again, still looking for Force of Vigor. Come on. We're gonna need it on this next top deck. Come on, Betsy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven creatures in my sideboard. Sure. So that doesn't trigger. Oh, it says return and then draw a card as well. Because there's a seven. Oh, okay. Bastard.
Even a second Bowmasters would be interesting. Did you draw binding? Oh, okay. But one card over here on the right is a halfling, FYI. Hmm. So we pop the Tef. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go get one at the end of his turn, or we can go get another Bowmasters. But we're just going to swing. Because, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're good. We can we have plenty of mana, even with swinging. I want to put a minus one, minus one, or something. You love this neighborhood. Every single house here recycles. Soba Gallad, I appreciate the follow, man. Oh man, dude, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Is it where? Yeah, get that first chat out there. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's a great gift. Um, so if he taps the one ring here. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. He does play a second one. Do I cord and try to get a bunch of cards? Because everything dies. You know what I do here? What I'm thinking? Oh. Because if I cord into another... It, oh, no, Grist is a bad choice. That's a bad choice. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go get the... Try to go get the Yawgmoth. So then I could keep the Young Wolf. Down to two minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, Samba. I, I appreciate the follow, man. I know the ad break was in uh, progress there, but I do appreciate it. Um, we definitely grist here. Oh, and then we just do this, right? We just go get Bowmasters. Just go get Bowmasters, deal him a damage, and then the one ring. Match two, two and oh. Here we go. Here we go, chat. All right. <laughs> yeah, you followed right before the ad break, like, like two seconds before the ad break. But hey, I appreciate you watching, man. I do. I really do. All right. All right. Three more to go. Can we get a 5-0 on stream? I think I've only ever gotten one 5-0 on stream, and that was pretty badass. So, uh, Hopefully I, I can keep up this energy. It is almost 2 o'clock here. So these uh, Yawgmoth games, they take a while. They take a lot of thinking.
Caladan 44. He got me. Okay, Caladan. Never heard of this person. On a draw with two mana dorks, three mana dorks, young wolf, and an evolution. I think we keep this, Chad. How aggressive do we play, Chad? We go for it. On this channel, we go for it. We'll risk it. We risk it for the biscuit. Let's go. Let's go. We might get screwed, but if we get a land, we're going to be flying. We're going to be flying. Come on now. Fury. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. With Fury on turn one, do I just play the Young Wolf? Give me land. Give me land. That's the land we wanted to see. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go halfling. Go halfling. Hopefully he just swings through and just didn't have a good hand. Because the Gris could take out the Fury. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes the deck just loves you. Sometimes the deck just says, come on now. Come on now, guys. You just, you just, all you need is a little love. All you need is a little love. Do a little gristy here. He's got the black swamp open, so just in case he's got a second one, we're just going to put a little token out there. A little chumper. You could have risked it, sacked the halfling. But then if he gets Fury back, he just kills your Grist and just kills you the following turn. It's a risk either which way, that's for sure. But I think we can deal with this. I mean, we got the Young Wolf. If he does. Of course I'm going to block with the token. Because if not, I'm just going to play the Young Wolf and sack the Young Wolf. The wrist. Hopefully he taps out for uh, the triple fable. Okay, cool. He went fable. That's what we wanted to see. Fable's fine. I wonder how my matchup against uh, Rakdos midrange is. I don't know how good um, this is to that. Sack creature. Sack young wolf. Kill the Fury. Get me back. Trying to conserve on life here, so I don't want to dig with the Verdant. I'm going to lose a life either way, though. I just am trying to keep that up. Um, We'll go Goose on this one. Hmm. I guess the question would be, do I block? Probably not block, because I can just... Well, I don't want to use the food token to gain life, do I? I have no two drops, so I can't go get a Yogg. Not going to go get another Grist. Thank God I drew those basic lands. He had a Blood Moon in hand. Oh, God. Oof. Sometimes the heart of the cards, man. Sometimes the heart of the cards is there for you. They can't save the Shaman token. Maybe he has another Fury. I think I'm just going to take it.
did not notice it was coming from Grist. I would have chumped. That is a massive mistake. I'm going to gain some life here. Don't think I'm going to really need that Guild Goose token. That was a massive misplay. But we can do other things too. Verdant. Um. Let's go get another grist. The gilded goose. I think that's what we do. Forest. Oh. Stack the goose. Go get me another gristy. Right, grist. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want. Great token. Play the other mana dork. And I guess he could play Bowmasters here. If he does, you just say congrats if you have Bowmasters. All right, yeah. He does have Bowmasters. Damn. All right. You block that and you kill it. That's fine. Bastard. Okay. That was a good play. That was a good play. Nothing really I could do here. Hoping to really draw a two drop. Because if I can draw a two drop, then that means I can go get a strangle root geist. No, strangle root geist doesn't work because I don't have the. I need would need quad. Um, forests, and I've only got three. Cord would be decent. Because with cord, I can go get uh, Yog. They're both swinging. I'll block half link here. I'll just block half leg. Chris can take two, that's fine. You have a f <laughs> you rat bastard. No, he's got a savior on his bow master. Probably kill halfling, or do you knock the grist down to one? Because if you knock the Gris down to one, I can't kill his Bowmaster. Interesting. The reflection really scares me with the Bowmaster on the field, too. Sometimes the heart of the cards, ladies and gentlemen. The heart of the cards just believes. Sometimes you just gotta believe. <laughs> Alright. Now we get to work. Sucks because he's gonna be able to do it twice. Um with the bowmaster. But we can live with that.
I mean, like a young wolf. Or strangle root would be fine. Um. He hasn't had a. I put a loyalty counter. Casted it. He hasn't done anything. That that's not gonna kill my. Am I crazy? That's not gonna kill my thing. He hasn't had a permanent leave the battlefield yet. He's an idiot. What he did? What permanent left the battlefield? What permanent left the battlefield for him? Uh oh, he must have been a treasure token. I didn't see the treasure token. That's not me. I uh, must have used a treasure token. Damn, I wish you would have told me that he did a treasure token. I'm sitting here looking. I thought he did it with the swamp. That's weird. I did. Huh. I'll have to go review that. I thought no card got changed. That's so weird. That's fine. We drew into another Yogg, so that's good, but. I'm going to go have to review that, because. Do you, do you guys remember seeing it? Because this swamp is tapped. That's the only thing that's tapped for him. No, it had to have been a treasure token. It had to have been, because that swamp had to have been for the Undying Malice. It had to have been a treasure token. 100%. It had to have been treasure token. Yep. Bowmasters, and that's going to kill my insect token. Because then, if I would have seen that, I still would have killed Bowmasters, taking another damage. Yeah, that was just me not paying attention. I thought I didn't see the second treasure token. From the shaman attacking. Think I'm dead either way. Hmm. <laughs> So his last card must not be that good. Wall of Roots. That actually isn't the worst card. Because I can Wall of Roots... Um, I guess I could do the Yogmoth thing in response to him targeting his Bowmasters. There's not really much I can do. And even then... No, I, I could live through that. Because he would swing. I could kill the shaman. Can't live through that. I guess you pay to see it. Yeah, either way. No, it doesn't matter what I draw. It's over. Alright, he got me. The health did not concede. I might have been actually able to win that one had I have seen um, that it was a treasure token that he used. That's 100% on me. Is Elven Chorus any good? 
Endurance is pretty decent unless he's um unless he sees my hand first when he scams me. So I've never been the biggest fan of endurance. There. Abacha is really good. Blood Ours is really good. Augur of Autumn. Well, he can't kill stuff in response. So Evolution's pretty decent. <laughs> Grist is really good. Not in love with these gooses. Try your best to block stuff, though. <coughs> oh, hmm. Three cards. There's probably too much. He's good. He can keep your engine going. If he's a late game top deck, he can win you games. I'm going to go down. Mm. Evolutions. I'm going to go down Evolutions. I have not been the biggest fan of Evolutions for most of the day. Endurance or Stranger Root? I think you just try to go for Endurance. That's a tough one. That's a tough board. All right, we can come back from this. We can come back from this. <clears throat> My wife's going to kill me. It's only 2 a.m. <laughs> She's going to kill me. Uh, I mean, it's as good as hand we're going to get, but if we get scammed, that sucks. There's really nothing you can do if you get scammed, though. I I'm on the train of either grief or the undying abilities need to go. With modern, it's just scam creates games where it just comes down to top deck, and I don't think that's what Wizard wants. The weird thing is, is the scam doesn't have an overabundance of winning, even with that strategy, just because it comes down to top decks. But it's just. It's just not a fun strategy whatsoever to like go against because your two best cards and you got a, a, a creature that has menace. If it didn't have menace, I think grief would be fine. The the the, the having menace really hurts. <laughs> Take the Ogmoth, Bowmasters, Core. One of those three, I'm assuming. Oh, Masters it is. He does play Blood Moon. So to play around Blood Moon, I think getting the Swamp is the correct option here. As much as I want extra green for the cord, with the Wall of Roots, I think we're fine. <coughs> oh, damn, something in my throat. Damn good draw there. Really good for cord there. Now, do we go out for grist after this? We can cord for grist. Play the odd moth. I'd be worried if he hit, plays. Dothy. Dothy's kind of a really good card against us. Dothy's. Which one do you want, bro? Which one are you feeling like? Yeah, yeah, you do, you do, you do, you do. Land. I think we go get. I think we go get Grist. I 
He can just help us settle the rest of this game out. <clears throat> Mill over another brisk, come on. Oh, not my Habatra. Hated that. I wish Cord let you get stuff out of the graveyard, too. Maybe that'd be just too OP if you can get stuff out of your graveyard. So you just, you know, it doesn't matter if it dies or not. Nothing, huh? Mills me an endurance. Definitely gonna hold the Basaju in hand. In case he gets a fable. I'm assuming he's gonna dash in a Bowmasters here. Probably pop the young wolf or the token. No. Oh. Interesting. Okay. He could also do a Hidetsu, who consumes all on his turn. And Hidetsu's a three drop, so I guess he would have played it last turn. And then I, I guess it only kills Young Wolf and an insect token. So that's probably, would, you know, that favors me in that trade. It's turn three. With five cards and you had nothing on turn three. Interesting. No grief. Is he waiting for me to tap my P land? Because if I tap it, if I tap it to draw a card, one, two, three, four. I can do it. Worth it. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four creatures in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll leave one of the insect tokens behind. Bowmaster. Response. We're going to cord out. Oh, shit. Got to go dig first. This doesn't matter. Yeah, no, we'll get a creature. Fine. Does the same thing. You think I should have got the overgrown? Probably was a smarter decision. So I'm not stuck on two land. I had to besage you. Pay alive. Put one on there. And sack. Token. 
I guess with the Dryad Arbor, in, in case he's got like a Fury next turn, Fury really hurts that. <laughs> Draw lots of cards. Okay. Guess we're getting a Beseju. He's gonna kill it anyways. Do I keep drawing? So I think I can. Stack the wall of roots. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> and he doesn't get his token. Neither one of his tokens, so that was good. Oh, I did play a land. You're right. I did play a land. Okay. But I do have a shitload of uh, creatures in the grave now. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. So we could come close to winning. All right, all right. So many lines in this deck. There are so many, like, thoughts on what to do here versus what to do there. What is his plan? Evoking grief. No shield rid? You exiled your shield rid for grief? Damn. Sure. Do you think he did that with Grief? Well, what's his last card? Because I can just use Grist and sack that. Well, never mind. Well, he can't block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I counted that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One line. <laughs> he is living on a prayer, ladies and gentlemen. I still think you'd do it. I mean, he's top decking. Tron and Endurance. He can't block. And what, he could kill my Gris with Dothy? Fury doesn't save him because he doesn't have double red, doesn't have five mana. If he's got a Grief, he can get a Young Wolf, I guess. Game three. Uh, 
I still wonder about that game one, that misplay on uh, the fatal push. I think I could have got there. Doesn't matter though. Gotta pick it up right here. All right, all right, all right. Mulligan against uh, Scale. Not a good position to be in. E mulligan too, so that helps. I think that's one you gotta keep. Um two grist, so I guess we dump a grist. I think we dump a grist. I like this art a little bit more than this one. Grist was a modern horizon Modern Horizons 2 was such a OP pack. Jeez, that pack is so good. I didn't know Grist was in there too. Every single card in that pack is damn near used in Modern. Any uh, thoughts on what Modern Horizons 3 gonna do? Like, Modern Horizons 3, next, uh, what is it, next uh, spring it's coming out? One thing I do hope is we get the other five of these lands. I don't know what they're called, what the, the draw lands, whatever, whatever they're called. I hope we get the other five. I think that would be really sweet. It would really open up some uh, archetypes um, for that. No scam, no thoughtsies, turn one. Alright, so he does play Blood Moon. So we're just going to go get a regular forest here. Go for Halfling. Please, please try and do a Fury Evoke. I beg you, please do Fury Evoke. Dothy's a card. I guess I can pile on the Dobby after this because he's going to attack Grist. So I don't think I sacked the Halfling. I think I just get make a token and then assume that he just attacks Grist. Because I could sack. Might be a bad decision because I got to. Because uh, he, he could hit something good off of the. Uh... Court's fine. Court is A OK. Don't want to yield through his necromancia. Down goes my Yawgmoths. We're on the beatdown plan this match, boys and girls. We're on the beatdown plan. Let's get them. I 
think depending, I'll probably hit Pylon here to kill his Dothy. Now, I'm assuming Dothy's going to swing a Grist. Can't block it. <clears throat> that might have been the perfect topic, actually. Because if we bow masters. We get our token. And then we swing with our insect token. Come uh on. -uh. Oh, I hit a grist there. Yeah, I gotta really kill that thing. Oh, that helped. Wow. I hit double Gris there. Wow. I got lucky as shit. Do not want any of these. Come on, get. Oh, wait, what? Where'd it go? What the fuck? Did I hit the wrong button? Am I getting too tired for this? No! I hit the wrong button! No! I killed an insect token! Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Uh, uh, I'm so bad at this game. I thought I hit... I thought I hit Dothy. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what it is? I think I I hit the to insect token thinking I was uh, convoking. I'm so good at this game, guys. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> that might be a sign. That might be a sign. I can't believe I did that. Oh my god, live on stream. That's terrible. That was terrible. Oh my gosh, I had such a massive lead there and I just gave it right back to him. I just gave him a massive, massive chance here. But well, I, I guess if he uh, evokes a fury, I should probably not be yielding through. Second Dobby. I can't believe I did that, y'all. I am so mad at myself. I am absolutely pissed off at myself for that. I can't believe I didn't click Dobby to kill him. Oh, man. I think you can get rid of cord probably still. We got one grist left in the deck. Man, I messed up hard there. This game, I, I literally win this game. If I do, that's twice. Twice I have messed up in this match. Hard. I have punted. Alright, uh, you didn't want to see the cord of calling. What are you tagging? What are you tagging? Grist or me? Grist. No blockers. Oh, I thought he grabbed cord. Oh, weird.
Um, you know, I think we just go grab the third wrist. Go grab, I mean, the fourth grist, because if we go grab the fourth grist. Keeping the new one. Killing the card. Oh, I win this game so hard. If I actually don't fuck up with the pylon. I'm going to leave one soldier back. In case he has like a Rajavan. I don't want him to kill Grist. Oh my gosh, I punted so bad. Don't have a top deck bowmasters. Don't have a top deck bowmasters, buddy. You do not need a top deck bowmasters. That would be a very bad card for you right now. Mm. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's a good one. Jeez, what is the issue, MTGO? Come on. Let's go. I see you updating over there. All right, so there is no more grists. I think we're just going to start swinging. Yeah, Bo was a terrible card for him to have from, against me. Does he have a second Bo? No. Okay. You're right, I probably should have kept Bowmaster on defense. But does he really draw any card? I guess with Fable he does. Oh, Pyro. I didn't think about Pyromancer. Yes, I should have swung with everything but Bowmaster. Clearly, my brain is so good right now. It's so on point, obviously, because I haven't messed up at all. <laughs> I don't even know. Not what we want. Um, I think we just. I have no grist. I have no Yogmoth. I think I just got to beat him down. Swing all? Oh, I probably. Seriously, swing all there? Lose two. There's the fable. There's I punting so bad, chat. I'm punting so bad. I'm punting it. I'm punting it. Do I sack the pre land even though the bowmaster's on the field? It's gonna kill something. I think I need the cards. No, okay. You know what could really help me? The auger would really help me right now. Go either way on needing that and not needing that. Yeah, we're going to besage you, that guy. You can go get whatever land you want. I had this game won if I just don't misplay hard. It's got to be the five straight hours I've streamed. Of Yawgmoth. <laughs> Five straight hours. <laughs> Yield until end step.
I think I'm gonna do it. Give him a Bowmaster token, that's fine. I'm gonna draw a terrible card. That's fine, create your army token. He didn't play a land, and yet he still got two cards in hand. Oh, I'm so good at this game. I think endurance really helps me to try to get over the top. Endurance would be a big one. Um, there's the fury. I think I think now he takes over. He takes over due to my misplays. I just don't think there's anything else for me to get back on top with all grists gone. All Yawgmoth's gone. We've gone to time so many times today. <laughs> Chat, we have gone to time. We gotta finish this league, though. We gotta finish this league. Oh my gosh, my wife's gonna kill me in the morning. The Bush of Fatal. Um, hmm. I guess I can kill the grief. Uh, I can kill the grief once he kills my insect token with the fury. Take five, six. This is this is a pilot lost game. A hundred percent a pilot lost game. <laughs> not not the deck loss. Shouldn't be a deck loss. Neighborhood, every single house here recycles. Fucker two. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Man, this has been awesome. Y'all are awesome. I, I hope you're liking the content. Um Oh, with the first strike. See? See, that's a better play. I didn't think about the first strike killing the token first before damage. I didn't think about that. That's a good call. That's a good call. I just don't think there's anything that could save me here. I'm trying to think on what could take down a Fury. I just don't think... Does this does MTGO ever slow down for y'all? After so many games, it's still doing it. It's so weird. I think I have to block the Fury. And then you block the Shaman token. I mean, he's got three cards. I have zero. If we get a 4-1 tonight, finish out, I'm going to be so mad because this should have been a 5-0. Yeah, that's it. I let him win, chat. I let him win. I punted. I punted so hard on both game one and three. Let me relog here real quick. Come on, MTGO. Put it on a quick intermission while I relog in.
All right. All right. All right, all right, y'all. All right, chat. Time to wake up. Baby check. Baby's still sleeping. Yep, yep, she's on the edge of her bed. We got to play. Two lands, wall of roots. Yeah, we keep that. We keep that all day. Back to Titan. Harrison's favorite Titan. Is there any way that... Uh, well, I gotta get Yogg out there next turn. Well, actually, with that, with Dryad, you probably kill the Dryad with Grist. Um, yeah, you go Wall of Roots. Wrists. Don't let him get the double land drop. There's just no way we can live through that. There's no way. Sure. Go one ring. And well, if you El Eldritch Evolution, because I can Blood Artist into Eldritch Evolution into Bowmaster, and Bowmaster really makes him think twice about using the ring. But he's got protection right now, so it's do we Yog Moth or Evolution? With the artist. But if I save the evolution and we can get another turn, I think we yog. Because I think we can win next turn with the proper draws. So if we get like Strangle Geist, Geist or something along those lines, Summoner's Pact. Go get Titan. One, two, three, four. He can go get Titan. Cultivator Colossus. That's Seven Drop? Yeah. Okay. I was sitting here like, how is he going to get that on the field? I need him to not kill me this turn with the Colossus. It's going to depend on what he has in hand. How many land versus other stuff. You messed up. It's three green. It's three green, buddy.
Sure. That's only six, which is still a Titan. He has the, he has everything for, so he's got to pay for two summoner's packs if he can't survive this turn. So we need, he has to kill me this turn. He's already played that uh, that that's six. It's eighteen. That's eighteen. No, there's not a way. I don't think. He got it. He got there. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I could do. Force bigger. You're in. Hey, where am I? You're in. Necromancy. You're in. And pylon. You're in. Out. Grist is not that great. Geist. Eh. Dogmoth's pretty good. Endurance is not that good. One evil. No, one auger. Oh, oh! At least these games are quick, chat. <laughs> these ones against Titan are quick. They're either they got there, or they didn't. If he could only deal fifteen damage, I think I win that game. But is what it is. Um, Bruce, I don't. Well, I have a besage you. Yeah, let's keep that. Because of the sage, I'll keep it. Especially being able to do Habatra into a one drop besage you. Hapa. Hapatra. Hapatra. Are we worried about Urza Saga this turn? I don't think so. As long as he can't get like a turn two kill, which I mean, they have that ability. I'm gonna risk it. Maybe not the smartest decision. Because I have seen them go off turn two. If he goes off turn two, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> well. Now, do I just besage you the Urza Saga? Does it matter? He's only got three cards left in hand. So is it better? To blow up his land that gets him a bunch of mana or is it better just to blow up the Urza Saga? I think we just try to blow up the land.
Right? There's nothing that we can go get that's going to really make that big a difference, right? Modern. Dog moss. Haywire mice not going to do very much. Um... I have something too. That's my only chance there. Orcish Bowmasters. Edrich Evolution on the Young Wolf. Gets us to a grist. Not that good. The Bowmasters prevents him from playing Colossus. But Colossus is a May ability. I think I just gotta go get grist. Let's Having that many amulets, I just don't think there's any chance for me to do anything else besides just trying to get, hoping he doesn't have another one. Yeah, there's just no chance. Bought me a turd. Four Amulet of Vigors. Jesus. Oh yeah, one Titan he did. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's all he needs. Yeah, that gets it. That gets it. Nothing I can do there. Alright. Going right back to our spot for 3-2. We're going for our 3-2 again. Oh, that was just a bad beat. That was just a... I don't think there's really anything I could have done against that. Like, there's just nothing. Um, like a dampening sphere in the in the sideboard, maybe. But I don't know if dampening sphere is worth it with everything that we got to do. That's that's just tough. All right, final game, final match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. And this guy's got to call it. We've gone for five and a half hours. We might be hitting six. Did not think I would be on this long, but I that's y'all are watching. I appreciate it. So it's my Kepper truck and <laughs> trying to keep the eyes open, keep the energy rolling. Hope y'all are having a great evening.
Oh man, that was rough. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I did. I queued. I, I, I'm queued up. <laughs> queued up for the final match of the night. Just let me get my my uh, points back. I'm running low. I I used to have so many points, and then I just fucked the pooch pretty hard because I just lost all of. I had over six thousand at one point. I'm down to 175. It's not good. It's not good. I was testing so many decks, doing this, not caring. You know, if I was like 0-2, I'd drop because I had so many points. It's a bad decision. Well, that's a keeper. Um. Turn two, sack the goose into a grist. Yeah, let's do that. Do I, do I still have new players? Because I, I started MTGO as not a newbie, so I, I I was already playing in like tournaments and stuff. So I was just always like, okay, well. Uh, you know, we'll do this, do this, do this. And so I already when I came in, I like bought the deck I wanted, which was burn at the time. So I, I still have burn to this day and no. But is there no prizes in it? Easy stops. I hope. I hope. Uh well I was gonna go get grist. But after seeing what he just played, I think we get a tune here. After seeing what he just played, I think the play is to play a Bowmasters. You go get Grist versus Murta. That's a tough choice. I can see you going either which direction because now I, I don't have the mana to go get Grist. But you are right. But it's killing. Making him not being able to adjust those top decks is huge, too. And if he taps out to go get Murktide, I can then quarter the calling at that point. I can cord. Definitely not courting now, but do I port the... Just attack with Arby. I like that. And then end of his turn, go get Grist. Because he can't deal with Grist very easily. Well, he's got Unholy Heats. And they're going to be turned on. And I guess worst case scenario, I could then Edridge Evolution the following... You know, on the following swing back. I need that to go get Grist. Or do I just get another Bowmasters? He clearly wants Bowmasters gone. You know what? I'm going to mix it. I'm going to go Bowmasters on this one. I don't want Grist because I just think he can easily kill it. And there's a reason he wants Bowmasters gone. Because I'm sure he's got some sort of draw function. In hand. They could just be the tired me coming out. And not thinking fully through. But we'll see. Because I can Edrich Evolution on the Goose. Get the... He was worried about it. 
Hmm. I don't want to sack for nothing. Swing these two. I can make a token at the end of his turn to try to play Yawgmoth next turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. Make a token with the goose. Because he's got the counter spell magic up. Or mana up. Here comes Daddy Murktide. We're going to evolution. Show me the counter spell. You got it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Get the counter spell out of your hand. Take six. Give me a land. Give me a land. L -l 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 land. It works too. Let's see if he tries to counter the Vizier first. Nope. So he's not worried about that. A second counter, you son of a. Okay. Double counterspell hurts a lot. He's got three in the graveyard, so if he's got a second one, I would not win that way. Luckily, I have a blocker in the goose next turn, even if he counters my Yawgmoth. That's just a bad beat. That's just a bad beat. Triple counter spell. You POS. Hell yeah, put that counter on him. Hell yeah, put that counter on that shit. Get that shit out of here. Well, if I don't block, I die, so I have to do that. That's not the worst card in the world, actually. That's actually a pretty decent card. Hell yeah, put a counter on that thing. If I make it out of here, holy crap. You top deck counterspell, I top deck a goose. All right, Monger Morktide. Come on, hero. Hero Hassan. Hassan. Ooh, Betsy. All right. All right. All right. 
Um, pushes are definitely coming in. Pylons definitely coming in. Now, what's bad in this matchup is the question. Because I think evolutions are pretty bad because you don't want to get them countered and sack a creature. Endurance is pretty good. Really good, actually, especially against Channeler. But do we really want to take out the Gooses for that? Brist is really good. I think Augur dies to a lot of stuff, so he probably comes out. Probably take out a Strangle Root for an Endurance. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go four Endurances. I think I'm just going to go three. I don't, I don't know of any other card I'd rather see over um, the Endurance. That's why I was like, I just want to just do the two. Two is good here. We do have to be cognizant of them possibly playing Blood Moon. <clears throat> he didn't go for the basic land, though. We also didn't want what was on top. What blooming marsh it is. Sure, we'll just pass it on back. Why don't you play like consider right now? Consider be looking really fine. Mighty fine. No? Okay. A's for steam vents. To bobble. Uh a lot of foresty stuff. Could have gone swamp too. Stern Scalding is Stern Scalding's a pretty good one. Oh. Here, um, I think I'm going to play Endurance on his turn. Just because he's holding up the counter spell magic, I'm going to make, make him do something. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, and Merc Tide's what? Yeah, can, he can do it with five. Mm. I guess I could have done it there. He plays the steam vents to the channeler. Let's go get the swamp and play endurance. Add the counter spell. That's fine, kind of. It's fine enough to where I don't know what else I would have done. I learned my lesson earlier. Don't play a Yog Moth into a bad board. So we're gonna play a Young Wolf. We'll get another Forest. Play Kangaroo Ghost. Nothing I can really do. Let's 
Ah. I'm trying to stay awake, y'all. I'm trying to keep up the energy and stay awake. It's, it's a little interesting. It's three o'clock here. So he doesn't play a Merc type. I don't think we play Yawgmoth here. I actually think we play Blood Artist. See if he counters it. Because then now that we have the Halfling... Now he's got to really think twice about killing a creature, obviously. Um, because unless he kills the halfling, next turn he's dead. I can just combo off. Okay, so he's got the Blood Artist kill. It's fine. He puts something on the top of his library that he wanted. Really nothing I can do till end step anyways. Three random cards. One is probably not Murktide, or else he would have played last turn unless he top deck Murktide. Fury. It's a good card too. Kills the halfling. Kills those two. Wall of Rootins. Land. Young Wolf. I think you get it out there with only one land available. Hope it doesn't stir. stir. Um, probably block the fury with the young wolf. Sack it in response after blocks. Play the young wolf on my turn. So he wanted the card that was on top with expressive. A second expressive. He's digging deep for this heat. Ottawara. If he would have drawn on Holy Heat, he would have played on Holy Heat already. So that makes me think he didn't draw on Holy Heat. Merktide? Yep. Yeah, definitely play wall first. 100% will play wall. I'm just trying to think how do I win this game? So he does that. We're going to put a negative counter on the Merc Tide. Okay. 
That's a good call. Put a wolf out in play. Stack that wolf. Let's see, can we get out of this? It's going to be a big F. True. Just fine win con. Okay. Well, I've only got five life left. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. The the blood artist is in the graveyard. So, like, I'm trying to think of how I can actually win this game. I think I have to try to find Grist. I think I put this on Fury. Because then I only have to do two things on Fury. Because I that's how I did it. I probably did it wrong. I could easily fix that though. Put a counter on him. No. Put a counter on him. Stack an army token. I don't think so either. Um, sack the wall of root, or no, put a counter on the wolf, sack the wall of roots. Yeah, I don't think there's a way. I just don't think there's a way. That might have helped, actually, if it wasn't for the Murktide being so big. Yeah, I guess maybe there I'm supposed to just keep murking, knocking the Murktide down, not worrying as much about the thing, get an endurance. Get an endurance that stops the channeler, hopefully, depending. That's just tough. That's a good, that's a keeper. We want him to kill the goose first. Because the halfling's on the field, so we want him to kill the goose. We'll hold that, we'll play the goose. And then we can play the Urborg and kill whatever we need to kill. Let's see, does he want his top card? Yeah, the losing of the Blood Artist there earlier, got, that hurt pretty bad. Is it worth it to play two blood artists or like the cutthroat guy and a blood artist? Is that too much?
Maybe it's too much? Ghost. Halfling? No stern scolding. Stern, stern scolding. Alright, final game of the night. Whew. We're running on some fumes, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Fumes are fumes are coming up. It's a little tired. It's only 320 right now. That's it. No big thing. Did not want the counter spell. Preordained. Okay. Okay. Second freer day. Well, that hurts. Okay, give me a grist. A grist off the top, Dad. Come on. Daddy needs you now. That's could have been worse. Could have been a worse draw. Needed that, like, you know, last turn, but still. So he's got what? Creature, sorcery, instant, land, uh, artifacts. So he's got plenty in there. Play another preordain. Merc tides a card too. All right, all right. So he won't be able to counter Yawgmoth. Oh yeah, he, never mind. Thought that was my halfling. Does he have the counter? We will let him go. Can Yog Moth get there? Ledger, we can kill that. Not good. We'll take five. We can handle that. We can handle that. Maybe. He doesn't have his unholy heat turned on. That was an absolutely terrible top deck.
I could sack the food token. I think that Bowmaster's keeping him at bay a little bit because he probably wanted to sack that islet there, but that Bowmaster's really making him think twice. That's pretty bad. Um, three two is not bad, though. Three two is still not bad. Solitude? Hell yeah, dude. Solitude all day. Uh, endurance is pretty good there. As long as he doesn't have a counter spell. This is so close. Because if he doesn't connect. I mean, either which way, I'm down to one. Just drew too many land. Either way, I'm just down to one. If he's got the bolt, there's nothing I can do. Reordain. He did not have the bolt. Don't give him the bolt now. Don't give him the bolt now. Two on the bottom. We got there, Chad. We got there. We got there after six hours. Two, three, twos. We'll take it. We'll take it. Holy shit. I thought I was going to fucking punt another game here. Oh, man. Let's go see what we won. What did we get? Give me a solitude like you did. Come on. Give me a solitude. Two jack shit cards, but I'm still happy. I got five. I got 105 player points for spending those hundred. <laughs> so, 
All right, well, I got to call it. I appreciate y'all talking. Thanks. Thanks. Um, amen, Tick. Amen, Nick. Amen, Nick. I'm just calling you Nick. I think that's easier for me to pronounce because it was our Nick. That was fucking awesome. Thanks for like playing with me tonight and met Nick. A met Nick. A met Nick. A met Nick. A met. Like it. Like it. I appreciate you talking with me all night and I reach everybody watching and talking and hope you all had a good evening. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. You too. Y'all take care. See ya.